Hello everybody, hope you are good. Hello market maker, I know you are there. <laughs> what a crazy day yesterday. We were talking about the idea of a short squeeze because we were seeing all these weeks to the downside, okay? We had the confluence of all the weeks to the downside and that usually means that the market maker is building a position. In this case, that would be a long position. And also that after this aggressive boom, the market was quiet, you know, you locked on, on Twitter and, and it was super quiet. It was, you know, traders were scared. Nobody was putting money on the table. And that means that the, the big boys are not making any profit on fees. Okay, so of course they have to move the market. How can they move the market? Well, they have to induce traders to open trades. How did they do that? Well, with a green big candle. Okay, that was the logic also behind this move. So we had the psychology of the move with also what we were seeing in this song with all this week. So that was telling us that there was going to be a short squeeze. And I upload that video, and I think after just one hour, it started to happen. Of course, you can say that we got all the, all the news about the uh, Grayscale ETF, but I think that was the cherry on top of the cake, because if you guys go to the, let me go to the, to the S&P, to the futures, okay? You can see that yesterday we also saw a huge green candle, okay? So that's also why the reason Bitcoin pumped in a way. Okay, of course, uh, the S&P is not, doesn't care about the grayscale Bitcoin ETF, okay? So, um, I'm telling you, the pump was going to happen. Um, grayscale ETF court case, uh, it, it simply just, you know, maybe pumped another 2-3%, I don't care. But by looking at also the pump in the S&P, it seems that it was about to happen in that way, okay? That, you can call it catalyst, call it as you want, okay? but the chart was there first. Now, if you look at the chart, there are some things that I like and some things that I don't like. For example, I don't like that in the daily time frame we are testing the 50 MA as resistance. So you can see it there, okay? That's right now our main resistance. We went above the mid range. That's great. I'm very glad because now maybe price can get back into the mid range and maybe, who knows, we can hold it as support, okay? But the problem is that we got rejected at the daily 50 MA, and that's going to be our main resistance at the moment. Now, if we go to the 4 hour time frame, this, or sorry, the, for example, the 1 hour time frame, this is something that I recommend you doing. Uh, you go to the EMA, you go to settings, and in time frame, you can select the, the time frame you want that EMA to be on. For example, you're in the 1 hour time frame right now, but you want to show the 50 MA in the daily time frame. So you click here the one day, and you can see in, in your 1 hour time frame, you can see the daily 50 MA, okay? You can see that's your resistance at the moment. It's almost to the dollar. You guys can see it there, all right? So that's something that I don't like. Also, uh, this change, yep. Uh, in the weekly time frame, what is the 50 MA? Well, to be honest, we are, we are above it right now, okay? But this candle closes on Sunday night. So you still have some days. And what I want to say here is that I would like to see a weekly candle close above the weekly 50 MA. Otherwise, if we retrace tomorrow, well, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, okay? But if we have a retrace and you close the weekly candle below the weekly 50 MA, then, you know, still it's looking that you are, you know, might be here for some time and then continue dropping lower, okay? So that's one thing to keep an eye on for this week. I think this is the main thing, okay, this week. Because to be honest, uh, when we were above here, you know, we were very far away from the weekly 50 MA. For example, in this zone, I was telling you, you want to pay attention to the weekly 50 MA because if you hold above it, then you're going to see another pump. And look what happened here. This weekly candle just closed above it and then we saw the pump, right? So the same applies here. But inversely, if you're going to favor lower prices, then you want to see the weekly 50 MA acting as resistance. So you want to see this weekly candle closing below it if you want to favor uh, lower prices, okay? So then you can maybe see some price action like this and then you see a final drop, all right? So that's the main thing uh, to look out for this week is the weekly 50 main. Let's see how it closes. Right now we're above it, but we still have some more days to go, okay? So um, that's uh, pretty much everything in the daily and um, weekly time frame. Now, if we go into the into the four hours time frame, I was talking, I think, yesterday also about this liquidity pool over here. Okay, you can see that we just felt it. 
there you go okay and then he acted as resistance again so that's good thing also if you notice here you have another liquidity pool it's smaller but it's also valid okay and that goes all the way to 28,500 so pay attention to that zone okay and also if you notice it's exactly where the uh, range highs are okay so that zone is going to be the next zone to the upside if there is going to be a new high but again remember that you have the uh, the daily 50 minutes, so it's gonna be quite complex okay but if you go now into lower time frame what do you see here okay first of all you see a huge 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 imbalance here look at that imbalance it's 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 insane it's like a uh how much is this uh 1200 dollar imbalance this imbalance is huge do i think it's gonna get filled sooner or later uh to be honest yes guys i think uh, it's gonna get filled it's gonna get retraced sooner or later is it gonna happen today to be honest i don't think so um i'll tell you what i think usually you see a big pump like this okay and then you either see a very sharp retrace or as it's doing right now to be honest it's coming down but very slowly okay so i think that it's quite likely to be honest that we see today maybe another pump okay maybe towards this zone it's not much if we take it it will be maybe like a actually it's almost like a two percent one and a half percent say okay say one and a half percent but this is something that we could see today another one and a half percent pump because we've already retraced from here at three percent okay so uh do i think this retrace is done yes and no for today is done in the midterm it's not because we still have this massive imbalance here okay but i do think that today i'm gonna favor longs I, I, again i might be wrong with this one yesterday i was right let's see today okay but take it with a pinch of salt just because i took the the call of yesterday right doesn't mean that i'm gonna get today's call right okay so uh, for what i see here i think that it's very likely that we go to probably this zone over here and that would take you around twenty-seven thousand. 800 okay something like this i would like to see today uh, if i'm honest with you so that's what i'm favoring for today um i think uh if we can take advantage of this pump that would be nice okay uh pretty, well, to be honest it's, you know between one and a half two percent pump it would be it would be lovely um that's what i'm looking for today but i would like to see what is the dollar doing because yesterday i marked in my chart a liquid oh they took it half half of it at least okay yeah pretty much half of the liquidity pool was taken and then price dump okay uh that's right and i think this was another liquidity pool that was taken before okay so i mean to be honest let's see what it does but the dollar index it seems that we are um well, i don't know if we're losing support to be honest okay because if you notice here usually you see one candle and then recovery you see a week one candle and then recovery here you're seeing already four or five candles but to be honest here you saw the same okay and it's difficult to tell because tomorrow on thursday we have a inflation report pce and then on friday we got something even more important in my opinion which is non-farm payrolls because i think the labor market is doing something interesting i'm gonna talk about that soon but uh be very careful on thursday and especially on friday uh because i think something big might happen in the markets okay there is gonna be quite a volatility uh, i'll talk about it again i don't know if it's gonna be on a video or in twitter but I'll mention what I think about the non-farm payrolls uh, on Friday. It's going to be quite interesting. Okay, so I don't know what the dollar index is doing. I don't know if it's doing something similar to this. Okay. Or if it's going to continue going lower. And it's impossible to tell. Okay. If we didn't have this over here, then I would tell you based on what happened previously, then yes, we've lost support and we're going to go lower here. Okay. But having what happened here, and this was probably don't get me wrong this was probably also during major news announcements okay this pump over here you can see that that pump is crazy okay i don't even want to see something similar because i don't know what the results are going to be like okay the market maker might know but i don't <laughs> so be careful uh the most 
uh, likely thing in my opinion is that the dollar index continues uh, hanging around here until the news announcements on Thursday and Friday and then that's when you can see a direction to the upside or downside all right so be careful here and of course the dollar index is going to determine what Bitcoin does next because Bitcoin trades against the dollar all right so if you go back to Bitcoin then that would make sense to say that it's very likely that they want to hold in this zone and that takes you to the idea that it's likely that then today you see this pump towards 20, 27,800 okay another reason why I'm going to favor a small long today because I think it's very likely that we consolidate over here okay to continue dropping now before tomorrow or on Friday we have major big uh, major news announcements it doesn't make much sense to me it makes more sense to hold in this zone okay um, they, can't, they can hold here, but I think it's more likely that they also attack this zone over here, okay? And yes, this is also holding. All right, so um, I hope that was clear. I want to take you to High Block Capital because it probably is going to give you some more information about the liquidation levels and also yeah, the liquidation heat map in lower time frame. So let's go there. Okay, first of all, we are here in the liquidation levels. Yesterday we were saying that there was more liquidity to the upside and you can see that they took all of that liquidity boom okay right now the cumulative delta is around 11 billion dollars uh, it's quite a lot but uh it's difficult to tell if it's gonna if it's enough for the market to reverse already of course you can see some uh liquidations here to the downside but again i think it makes more sense that today we consolidate a bit more okay maybe that small scalp to the upside and then on thursday or friday we'll talk again to see what can happen okay but for today i'm not i don't think we're going to continue going lower and hit these liquidations to the downside that's just uh my instinct okay my trader instinct uh, i might be wrong but that's what i that's the logic that i'm applying now the liquidation hit map in 12 hours time frame interesting look at that 27,850. that's the liquidity that's where the liquidity is in the very short time frame okay so uh, that could be another confluence that we might see uh, higher prices today well uh, at least that small pump okay and in the seven days time frame we took that liquidity to the upside we didn't take the one at 25,700 uh, I think they might be for later and you are pretty close to this one to be honest 28,550 but again if we get here it's going to depend also on the news announcements tomorrow and on Friday. So uh, take this with a pinch of salt just because it's there. Don't think we're going to get there. The same as the reason why when we were around this zone, just because we were so close to this, they didn't really go there, okay? They shifted off this zone. So be careful. Take it with a pinch of salt. One more time frame. Okay, the ones to the downside. And the three months time frame, this is what I want to take you to. We were talking yesterday, well, and also on Friday and maybe on Thursday, but we've been talking about this chart for quite some time because there is a lot of liquidity here around 24,200. Then you see this week, but it misses for a couple of hundreds. That is not a coincidence. It usually isn't. And I was telling you that the idea is to build more liquidations in this zone before they make the move down here. So they're going to hit more liquidations that they could have done previously. And the only way to increase the liquidity here, remember that these are long liquidations. Why it is the only way? Well, the only way is to induce traders to open longs. How do you do that? With a big green candle. And it happened yesterday, okay? So you can see how the logic behind the market, it's, um, again, I might be crazy. I might be getting all of this right just because I'm crazy, but I think that the markets are logical. I don't believe that because you are seeing a, a, a pennant is going to give you a high probability trade. I think that if you apply a bit of logic and try to think how the big boys think, it might give you a bit more of a clue what the market might do next. Okay. So again, do I think we're going to come to this soon? Uh, I think so. Okay. But the same thing that I thought that we want to see this big green candle all right so the most likely thing in my opinion is like continue consolidating here these liquidations are going to increase and then you know you need another big news announcements uh probably should be something to do with uh the economy 
something breaking, maybe we'll talk about that soon. And then that's when you can see that drop. Okay, might take weeks. I've told you this before. It might take weeks. It might take months. Okay, this is the three months time frame. This is very high time frame. This might take some time, guys. So be patient. You know, treat level by level. You know, you think this was? If you think this is spike here was a coincidence that they didn't hit this soon, then you would have thought, okay, I want to come to 24k next. But if you apply a bit of logic, then you would have thought the same as me. And I know some of you thought the same. Okay, that's not quite odd. That's not a coincidence. Something is brewing here. And and I think, well, I happened already, but I was telling you that I thought that it was because they wanted to induce traders to open longs so the liquidation here can increase. That's how I see the market, guys. So, uh, again, if this can help you with your trades, that's good. If it can inspire you to learn this trading system, uh, that's also great. Um, that's pretty much everything that I have to tell you guys. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.